Coach? Yeah, I just think that uh, our guys did a, a really good job executing game plan. I thought that, uh, you know, we wanted to pound the ball inside and uh, have an inside out attack. And looking at what we shot from the three, we only attempt, you know, 12 threes. I thought that was right where we needed to be right now. I think uh, in the past we've been three ball happy, but uh, having a little bit different presence down low, we wanted to kind of attack inside out. And I thought our guys did a good job of doing that. Um, got careless with the ball a few times. There's a couple stretches where I thought that, uh, you know, our guards are experienced guards. They played enough basketball to understand how I want to play and how to play the game. I thought that, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, 14 turnovers is, is too much. But uh, credit Knox, they came to play, and uh, I just thought that we were overmatched. I mean, we uh, outmatched them down low. Yeah, I really thought the uh, the good man kid for you know first time you know seeing him step out here you know did some good things for you you know just you know for the streets you know block some shots and like you say kind of that presence that the, you know like last year you know especially you know you guys lacked. Absolutely, you know, Brandon uh, he's going to have a a great career here. I think we're we're uh, just working with him every day just like every other player and uh, try to just help them be ready each and every day. And uh, when their moment comes, I thought that. Uh, you know, he's a force down low, and I think he's going to help us not only on the defensive rebounding end, but also blocking shots. He had four, four blocks, which is uh, always nice. And uh, so we're just really excited about his, his potential. Didn't try to do too much either. I mean, you know, kind of did a nice job of staying with himself. You know, sometimes you get a couple blocks, you get a little slot happy, but he, he didn't do that. I mean, right. You know. And I think to our, all the kids who played, I thought they tried to stay within uh, their role. And if you look at, you know, Garrett was pretty efficient, you know, eight for 10 from the free throw line, five for seven and you know, 20 points in, in 26 minutes. You know, JC Fuller did a great job, 13 points in 20 minutes. So I, and then Jabari, you know, six for nine. So I thought, you know, those three uh, from the minutes that they played were highly efficient um, and uh, just a, a, a total team effort. Coach, uh, let's talk about the defense uh, today. Holden Knox at 30% shooting for the game. and. Uh, Dominating the boards with 55 rebounds, uh, seven blocks. You, know, you got to be pretty happy with the way your defense came out first game of the season. Definitely, I thought that uh, we came ready to play, and uh, you know, just wanted to try to stay within our our system. And uh, defense has always been a staple of who we are. And uh, whether you're the starter or whether you're coming in the last few minutes, we expect you to maintain that level of uh, discipline at the defensive end, and we were able to do that. Uh, there was a first three or four minutes in the second half. I thought. <clears throat> we didn't start with the same intensity the second half that we did with the in the first half. So, uh, you know, the beauty of having depth is, you know, when one group or one person is not clicking, then, you know, right now we have a pretty good luxury of uh, subbing. Uh, Covington was kind of shut down a little bit in the first half, had a nice, uh, nice little coming out party in the, in the second half of this game. Uh, was that, was that uh, what you want to see from one of your top? Well, I thought he just let it come to him. You know, I thought he hit a three early, and I thought that uh, he didn't really try to force or overdo it. And I think that's a credit to him and, and just having a feel for the game and, and when to strike and, and when to kind of move the ball and get others in, involved. And I thought he did a good job attacking the rim when he had some open shots. You know, we talk with our guards about being complete, uh, not just a one-dimensional three-point shooter or one-dimensional off the bounce. But, uh, you know, I thought he, he let the game come to him. He was highly efficient. A very balanced scoring uh, throughout. Only three players. Uh, Kevin Teal with 20, Fuller and Santa Barbara with 13 each. Uh, very balanced in the first half, continue the balance in the second half. Is that what you want to see offensively from you guys? Absolutely. Anytime you're moving the ball and, and making the right basketball play is something that we emphasize every day. Uh, good shot versus better shot. And uh, when you have that clicking, uh, you know, when you have guys playing in sync, you know, that, it's really fun to watch. And I think, uh, you know, our guys did a really good job of that this afternoon. What's it like actually having all these bodies to? You know, just to kind of you know pick and choose from. Said you know last year at the end there, you know you, you, know, you didn't have a lot to choose from until the end of the year last year. Right, it's it's a good feeling uh, <laughs> to to definitely have some depth, and I think that's something that uh, we talked about in the off season. You know, how can we uh, be great uh, all year? It, it takes uh, being healthy and uh, having some depth, having some guys that come off the bench that can raise the level of play. And uh, you know, right now we have that, so. Uh, just keep moving forward, be better, everything we do, and, and stay healthy. Uh, Anchor about the game in the first half. Uh, but he was, uh, was grabbing his hamstring. Uh, uh, had a yeah, yeah, injury. nothing, nothing too serious. You know, early reports. Uh, you know, the trainer looked at him, just go tweaking the hamstring. I don't think he pulled anything or tore anything, so that's a great sign. Uh, just continue to, you know, ice and and whatever the trainer says, and you know, 
practice. You know, he'll be back Monday, we anticipate. You know, we have tomorrow off, and guys uh, take tomorrow off and rest, study, and uh, recover, get ready for next week. And next week, season starts up in Madison against Wisconsin. Um, it's not the same Wisconsin team that uh, was national runner-up to Duke. Last season, losing Decker and Kaminsky. Um, returned Hayes and, and Coning, so, you know, statement about what you think. Well, <clears throat> you know, we take it game by game, so I really haven't looked at, at Wisconsin, to be quite honest. But we know who they are. Who they are. We know what they're about in terms of their tradition and uh, great coaching staff. And, uh, you know, we've, we feel honored to, to be able to go up there and play and, and uh, great environment. I think it's going to be a nationally televised game on the Big Ten Network. And uh, it's great exposure for our program and, and great exposure for our university, Western Illinois University. And we have a great fan base, alumni uh, in that area. So it's going to be a great opportunity for our young men. And uh, we definitely need to come ready to play. What was the number one thing you want to try to accomplish today in, in playing this game? Just playing the right way, uh, playing to our identity. Um, we talk about get stops, then get buckets. So defensively, uh, getting a stop, one or two or three stops in a row, and trying to convert and play out of that and make the right basketball play. So defensive presence and, and making the right basketball play with the ball on offense. Do you guys know what your identity is so far this season? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, our program philosophy is all in, and, and this year is our season model. We, you know, we're going to have a certain level of toughness and play the right way. And I thought, you know, having our discipline and our, and our gaps on defense, and, and you know, we, we showed some signs of, of being tough today.